Hey, good morning. Doing a global macro update. Just mostly going to hit on FX, uh, a little bit of equities. Uh, dollar, start with the dollar, get dollar right, get a lot of other things right. Still, it's just kind of a grind higher. This this chart doesn't have a lot of angular distance. Just been kind of a steady grind for the last, um, really, since we held pi here in April. Uh, this is the weekly chart. So the weekly cycle is still coming down. I want to look at the yen in a second also, but daily... Still a series of higher lows. This daily cycle's been really dominating when we're back low, crossing up. So um, I'd rather be long the dollar back here. I think that's the right location. Um, good risk reward relative to coming off a new high. Same thing or inverse here on the euro. Made a new low. We've rallied and we've been pretty patient. We we have been waiting for this daily cycle to come back up to reset some. Um, shorts and then in the meantime I'm taking a little bit of a long on euro yen which yesterday we've uh, we were pretty beat up and low within um, low within the range low within the cycles and then um, we added a little bit yesterday I came out of some last night but still core long I mean this is in a downtrend so this is this started as a small hedge and now I'm trying to work the position looking for more of a bounce on the euro and yen I mean, if we look at the futures Uh, this is this was some pretty good resistance up here. Looking at yen futures, um, it's had a good move, right? So here, where the daily cycle was low mid-April, we've rallied into this the same spot. If we look at dollar yen, we were kind of inside this range that broke, but we only spent one day below that, and we held one hundred nine. So unless you really get equities to fall out of bed, and what would define a breakdown in stocks is I want us the market would have to get below the 200, which everybody's going to have, and then our pie line down here. So I'll call it 27.50. I think you're going to need to need to see that and more out of China as far as China's really been down pretty hard again this month. Um, but Bank of Japan I think came out last night, not happy. I'm sure with the the strength of the yen, Nikkei, you know, so they're going to try to defend this move down. China looks pretty similar. So I, I'm actually looking for a bounce on dollar yen. Um, but <laughs> I'm long euro yen, but I'm actually going to, I'm going to sell dollar yen against my euro yen on the right near term spots. Because I'm also short euros versus dollars. So if I'm long dollars more heavily by selling dollar yen, it's a little bit of a hedge against my euro long or my dollar longs and against my yen short when I'm playing euro yen. So I'm actually going to, this will be a hedge on decent bounces. Um, I sold a little bit here into the 200 yesterday on dollar yen. So we'll see. I mean, if it takes out the lows from earlier this week, then that's probably going to mean a move back to 108 and a half. Just the lows from January. But let me see. I'm going to try to stick with this daily cycle down here. Uh, I think Aussie yen is very similar trade. It's pretty def definitely oversold. I mean, just looking at the RSI, it's just um, to think that we took out these lows, which no no doubt mattered, but to think we're going to revisit any of this stuff in that flash crash, I think is not unless you get equities to really break down. And we've already been down two weeks pretty hard there, so equities so the daily cycle is low. Um, uh, I guess I'll just hit real quick. Kiwi, been pretty beat up for several months. Um, that trend's been down. I, I think you're a little bit late to the party if you're trying to short that. Dollar CAD kind of trades like DXY, just a grind higher. That's still bullish. Cable, we haven't liked really trading all the BS Brexit, but I would be open to shorting Dragon on the right bounce also. This daily cycle is pretty low, but if we, were to, if we were to get a three or four or five day rally back to the underside of this clear breakdown 144 143 and three quarters 
and I'd be a better seller. I'd be looking to short Dragon. Um, it's pretty oversold rel relative just to looking at how below we are, how below price is, below the 8. So just like we've been saying, there's another example of the yen being, um, you know, pretty overdone here, pretty overbought. So I'd like to get a bounce and then short into to Dragon. Uh, I think that's it, guys, for FX. I'm going to try to post this around, and then I'll come back with um, we'll hit on uh, equities, bonds, and some crypto.